Hello guys welcome back to black metal promotion this videos is about the black metal band Nargorod. If you are new to this channel and you love black metal make sure to like this videos and subscribe to this channel. For more videos let's start. Nargorod is from in Germany and has been active since 1996. The name Nargorod came from the word Narg. As it stands for nature they have released albums on the labels No Colors and Inter Arma Productions. The band's website is www.nargaroth.de. The current members of the band are Rene Kenwolf slash Ash Wagner and Occulta Moors. Rene Wagner classifies his music as German hateful and misanthropic metal, not as black metal, he does so as he claims black metal is mainly influenced by Satanism whereas Nargorod is not. Despite Wagner's denial, as the music resembles classic black metal and the emotional background and influence being an essence of black metal, Nargorod is often seen as a black metal band. Wagner had earlier claimed that Nargorod was formed in 1989, the seven-track instrumental demo Orc was released in 1991, and the demo Herbsleet in 1993 but, years later, after many accusations from the international black metal scene, he stated on his website, www.nargorod.de, that the genesis of Nargorod was in 1996 after the band Exhumanens, formed by himself, R.S., Sharon and Darkin, not to be confused with Rob Darkin of Gravelin fame, split up. Nargorod demo tapes were completed and recorded no earlier than 1998 with the aid of Sharon on guitar and a drum machine. Nargorod's first album, Herbsleet, Autumnal Suffering, was released by No Colors Records in December 1998, followed in 2000 by the Americ compilation of older and unreleased material including the promo version of the song Herbsleet and a Burzum cover, among others. The demo Fuck Off Nowadays Black Metal got released on the same year. This demo is said to be limited to 333 tapes and 100 LPS by the label Samba Records, it was re-released by No Colors Records on Picture LP limited to another 333 copies in 2005. In 2001, No Colors Records released Black Metal Ist Krieg, a compilation album by German black metal artist Ken Wolf. This album spawned many misconceptions about the band and artist, most notably people calling Ken Wolf a Nazi for including photographs of relatives of his that served in the Wehrmacht during WW2. This was meant as a dedication to his deceased family members, regardless of their political affiliations. People also called him an avid Burzum supporter for the song The Day That Burzum Killed Mayhem, which only retells the story of the murder of the Mayhem leader Euronymous by the hands of the Burzum soul member, Count Brishnak. It was followed in 2002 by Raz Luka Part 2, which along with Raz Luka Part I, is dedicated to the memory of R.S. whose suicide in 1995 greatly affected Wagner. The third album, Jalit de Regans, Beloved of the Rain, was recorded in the same sessions as the Raz Luka series and got released in 2003. 2004 saw the release of the live album Crushing Some Belgian Scum, Raz Luka Part I, and Prosetanica Shooting Angels. This last release was originally intended to be a side project of Wagner's called Prosetanica with the recording being called Shooting Angels. This record has plenty of jokes within it, many of which would go unnoticed by most people for the jokes not being of obvious nature, in both the music, layout, and sometimes lyrical content too. The next album Semper Fidelis marked Wagner's parting of his former artistic persona of Ken Wolf and the genesis and embrace of his new persona, Simply Ash which has been his nickname since his childhood. This decision was taken as a means to estrange himself from the BM scene, which for the most part never understood his work, thus his new Ash persona would work as an artist with very little or rather no regard for any scene. It got released by No Colors Records in 2007 in regular Jewel K CD and a box set limited to 99 hand-numbered copies that included the CD. The double LP version of the album which included several bonus tracks, a DVD titled Burning Leaf, a t-shirt and other things and personal effect of Wagner himself of which he felt the urge of getting rid of, example the wedding ring of his first marriage. Wagner played one show in Mexico and Guatemala in 2008. In 2009, 
the album Yorazidon, Seasons, got released on a 5DG book version and double LP. The vinyl version contains spoken intros to each song, these intros are not included in the CD version. In 2009, he engaged in a full tour of South America and in 2010 he toured most Central America, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras, and gave a few extra shows in Colombia and Venezuela. Spectral Visions of Mental Warfare was released in 2011 and Era of Thre Noti in 2017. From 1998 to 2022, the entire discography of Narragon. Orc, Demo, 1998. Herbslate, Demo, 1998. Herbslate, 1998. Amaruk, 2000. Fuck Off Nowadays Black Metal, Demo, 2000. Black Metal is Krieg, 2001. Raz Luka Part 2, 2002. Jalit de Regans, 2003. Crushing Some Belgian Scum, Live, 2004. Raz Luka Part I, 2004. Prosatanica Shooting Angels, 2004. Semper Fidelis, 2007. Semper Fidelis Box Set, 2007. Yara Zaiden, 2009. Spectral Visions of Mental Warfare, 2011. Black Metal Manda, Ijos de Puta, Live, 2012. Era of Thre Noti, 2017.